Hi. So, do you have ADHD? And it's just little questions, really quick, really fast, really cut, really dry. Split it into two sections in case you get really bored. And I'll put the links below. Now, quick summary of ADHD again. It is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder long as word it's a neurological condition defined by symptoms of inattention and or hyperactive impulsivity that interferes with daily functioning in at least two settings for example work and at home work at school school and home you know mix and match it, it's candy okay so roughly two-thirds of people who experience adhd symptoms as a child will continue to experience it as an adult Though its manifestations tend to shift and change with age, but many people with attention deficit, particularly its inattentive symptoms, are undiagnosed or misdiagnosed as children. They may suffer serious psychological consequences after a lifetime of blaming themselves for ADHD symptoms, and that's your RSD. RSD. Okay, symptoms of adult ADHD may include impulsiveness, forgetting names and dates, missing deadlines and leaving projects unfinished, extreme emotionality and rejection sensitivity becoming easily distracted and disorganized, suffering generalized anxiety disorder and or depression, low frustration tolerance, cranky, trouble multitasking, excessive activity or restlessness. Okay, if you recognize that, please continue watching. I'm about to start off with a quick test that will be relevant for you if the symptoms have kind of disrupted your life for at least six months. You might be dealing with this shit, but it's not the end of the world. You got me, you got the internet, and we're gonna work through this. Okay, so if you have a piece of paper or not, maybe just write down stuff just write very often, often, sometimes, rarely, never, or one, two, three, four, five, and then you can check it off. Or you can just listen and see where you fall. Okay. Statement one, I have difficulty getting organized. Statement two, when given a task, I usually procrastinate rather than doing it right away. Three, I work on a lot of projects but can't seem to complete most of them. Four, I tend to make decisions and act on them impulsively, like spending money getting sexually involved with someone, diving into new activities or hobbies, and changing plans. 5. I get bored easily. 6. No matter how much I do or how hard I try, I just can't seem to reach my goals. 7. I often get distracted when people are talking, I just drift off, or in my case, I literally shut down and fall asleep. 8. I get so wrapped up in some things that I hardly stop to take a break or switch to doing something else which is hyper focused when you're just like in the zone you forget to eat you forget to I don't know drink water anything when you're doing your stuff you get really hyped up and you kind of just go like Phew. that's just you for a while okay what ails nine I tend to overdo things even when they're not good for me like compulsive shopping drinking too much overworking and or overeating 10 I get frustrated easily and I get impatient when things are going too slowly Right now, I think I'm talking too slow, but I also know I should slow the fuck down or no one's gonna understand what I'm saying. Okay, 11. My self-esteem is not as high as that of others I know. Yeah. 12. I need a lot of stimulation from things like action movies and video games, new purchases, being among lively friends, driving fast, or engaging in extreme sports. 13. I tend to say or do things without thinking and sometimes that gets me into trouble. 14. I'd rather do things my own way than follow the rules and procedures of others. Okay. 15. I often find myself tapping a pencil, swinging my leg, or doing something else to work off excessive nervous energy. Yes. 16. I can suddenly feel down when I'm separated from people, projects, or things that I like to be involved with. That's kind of like me when I'm without my piano or something. I got so affected. I was like, oh my god, it's like not having a limb. And I was obsessing over it, and then I hyper-focused over it, and I am getting distracted again. So we will continue with number 17. I see myself differently than others see me, and when someone gets angry with me for doing something that upset them, I'm often very surprised. But it's not because I am insensitive, not because I didn't think of them, just came out wrong or something. 18. Even though I worry a lot about dangerous things that are unlikely to happen to me, I tend to be careless and accident prone. I have about a bruise a day and I don't even know how the fuck I... And I am a germaphobe sometimes. But at the same time, I get sick a lot, which kind of makes sense. So, yeah. Horrible cycle. 19. Even though I have a lot of fears, people would describe me as a risk taker. 20. I make a lot of careless mistakes. If I forgot to edit stuff out or I repeated stuff twice, I am sorry. 21. I have blood relatives who suffer from ADHD and other neurological disorder or substance abuse. 
If you answered yes to at least 15 of these questions, you show signs of ADHD. However, you can still have it if you answered yes to fewer than 15 informal tests. You see a doctor, talk to someone, and if you think your child might have ADHD, there is a test for kids that I have linked below. So please consult with a physician or licensed mental health practitioner and ask for an adult ADHD evaluation so you can get treatment, so you can get help, and so you can get better. For the next episode, I will be going through the ASRSP 1.1 symptom checklist, which is the world health organization's adult self-report skill screener thing for ADHD and that will be available in a multitude of languages and I'm just going to see you at the next one so it's not too long.